8,000 people in the U.S. have lost their lives due to COVID-19. One Metro woman is now learning how to carry on through the holidays after losing her husband before a vaccine was available. News 9's Ashley Holden has her story only on 9. He was a very happy person, loved everyone. Teresa Talbot remembers her husband of 35 years with his signature smile. That's how happy he always was. That smile captured in pictures throughout Talbot's new home. It's about October the 29th or 28th is when he tested positive for COVID. A high fever and dwindling oxygen levels convinced Talbot to take Mike to the hospital on Halloween in 2020. He just never got to come out, never got to come home. Yeah. And did you think that he would when you when you dropped him off? Yes, you drop him off and then, you know, I thought, well, I'll be back in three or four days to pick him up. But Mike spent a month and a half in the hospital and ended up intubated before he passed. His family would still FaceTime him with the nurse's help twice a day. This is when the hospital had called us and that's Katie holding his hand. The hospital let Talbot and her daughter Katie see Mike just before he passed on December 14th. The same month, Pfizer rolled out their COVID vaccine. It makes me sad because I know that if that treatment, if that vaccine would have been here, he would have been one of the first ones to have gotten it. Talbot says she and Katie have gotten vaccinated and even friends and family have gotten doses because of Mike. Well, the day I found out I was pregnant, which was after he passed away, a red cardinal showed up in the backyard. And they still feel Mike around them, but the holidays will never be the same. With each holiday that comes, it gets lonely. And not lonely because I have a lot of family, but lonesome to see him. But they know Mike would be proud. Every time we make new memories, I just always think of him. In Choctaw, Ashley Holden, Oklahoma Zone News 9.